Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Blue Devils have been mired in this deep funk, and sometimes when things start going wrong, the harder you work, the worse it gets. At least it seems that way. They have to find a way to relax, play to their capabilities, and try to find something that can give them a little bit of confidence. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. And the kicker comes in to make the tackle. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. throw incomplete pass the ball just sailed on him and he knows it he'll get it next time that makes it second, and ten. second down 10 yards to go ball on the 29 yard line quick throw and he's taken down at about the 33 yard line taken down at the 45. If you're the defense, who do you try to cover this guy with? He's too fast for most linebackers. He's too big for most corners. You have to rely on your safeties, who generally aren't very good in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Gets it. He's in space. Excellent open field tackle. Page makes the tackle at the 47-yard line. That makes it second and two. He's taken down for a loss. Loss of two by the halfback. From the 49-yard line, third down. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He's tackled around the 36-yard line. Getting him the ball in the passing game creates real havoc for the defense. There aren't many linebackers who can stay with him in coverage, that's for sure. Tackle at about the 13. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. Cavalry's coming. And he hits him hard at the 14-yard line. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 14-yard line. And he 
he's tackled at the 12. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. They'll bring him down at the three. Wow, a long game, but still not enough for the first. Well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down. So the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. And the end zone touchdown. the PAT. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. Let's have a look at some scores from around the country. Several surprises today. The Miners, they have total belief in their ground attack, and they use it to march down the field and get the first touchdown of the game. UTEP out front, 7-0. All right, Reese, back to our game. Duke Carter has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Greens' his running style is set to give this defense fits right here at home. He's on the field for the first time, and you can just feel it. The fans want to see him handle the football. Yeah, the home crowd really loves this guy. He's definitely one of the fan favorites, and he should be. He's one of the most exciting running backs in all the college football. And I'm sure this offense wants to put him in a place where he can have some success early in all. Tackle made at about the 35. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. And down he goes, right around the 42-yard line. Foster picks up seven yards with that catch. Nice protection, a good pass, and even a better catch. You can't ask for much more than that. Keeper. Not what you'd expect when you prepare all week to defend the option. But then again, give this offense some credit. These guys aren't exactly the scout team. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 30. He's at the 20. Brought down at about the 19-yard line. Wisconsin's got a guy that's in a running for a national award here, Herbie. And, you know, the best time to talk about awards really is after you win them. Right now, it's all speculation. He's just got to play the game. From the 19-yard line, it's first down. He fights forward to about the 16. And they make the stop at the seven. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. it left and they get him in the backfield for a loss that brings him second and goal and this is the eighth play of the drive Well, you want to do everything you can to keep the ball out of the hands of these receivers. So that was a really good effort. It's third down. They need eight yards here to get the ball in the end zone. 
Fires back to the tailback, but he can't bring it in. Somebody hit the upset alert button because this one looks like it just might be heading in that direction. The Blue Devils with a touchdown lead. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. The kick is up, and it splits the uprights. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? Let's take a look at some action in the Big 12. High-powered offenses everywhere. The Cowboys deliver the perfect connection and a touchdown. The Cowboys are out front, 21-10. 7-3 in this one. Wisconsin is ready to kick it away. Lee from the two. He's tackled at the 25. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Duke is up by four. He's taken down at the 37-yard line. That's a gain of 12 on the play. First down. Got a man. Watch out here. Knocked out of bounds at about the 49. First down. He's at the 40. Quick pass. That makes it first and 10. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Switch, switch, switch. Gets it out quickly. He's at the 30. He's taken down at the 27. Gain of 12 yards. Let's go, let's go. First down. it to the middle of the field and that sets them up with a first and goal that makes it first and goal laterals back gets past the tackle that's a great tackle at the 12 yard line two yard loss for the halfback From the 12 yard line. Let's go, let's go. It's second down. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Darts it to the left. Polk was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it third and goal. This is the eighth play of this drive. Duke is up four. Swings it out there incomplete. This quarterback has got to do a better job of looking off defenders and allow his covered receivers some room to improvise and get free. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Kicks away, and he got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. Gets out to about the 21. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. The halfback with a carry. He's gobbled up in the backfield. When this guy gets his arms around a ball carrier, I don't care who it is. He's not getting away. It's second and 13. Ball on the 18. Now he 
tries to buy some time. He's tackled around the 19-yard line. He heaves it deep. And he hauls it in at the end of that long ball. To the 10. Touchdown, Badgers. They pretty much had their way with the defense there. Terrific play. be tied with the extra point. And he hits the PAT. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. Time to check out what's going on in Stillwater. This one's been entertaining us all day long. The Wildcats unleash their aerial assault and find Pater for a touchdown. And for Timmons. That's two kick return touchdowns on the day. Oklahoma State leads it 21-17. We're tied at 10 in this one. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. And he tackles them hard at the 18. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive lineman have after that. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. He's out to the 30. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. That's a team on the Complete brought down, nothing to it. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. Third down, 12 to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. He wants it all going long. Incomplete. Jackson, back deep to return. Jackson fields it at the 27. He's taken down at the 46. Both offenses have played it pretty close to the best so far in this one. Yeah, because they've been so conservative, it's made it pretty easy for both of these defenses to be pretty dominant. Let's see an offense open it up and take a few chances. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Here comes the pressure, and he hits him hard at the 39-yard line. You have to keep an eye on this guy, especially during passing situations, because he does a great job of getting to the quarterback, as we saw right there. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Let's go! He's got it with room to run. Good open field tackle. That's good for 
That makes it 37. Scrambling around, and they got him. Duke's going to take their first time out of the half. Marcus is waiting for the snap. Lee takes it at the 16, and down he goes at the 30-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Quick throw out to the receiver, and he's tackled at the 37. The Blue Devils use their second timeout. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. In the shotgun and five wideouts. At about the 43 yard line. Makes the first down catch. That makes it first and 10. They come out in a five wide set. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Well, he must have hurried there because his receiver was wide open. There was no need to rush that one at all. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 43 yard line. He delivers, and that one's incomplete. This is a well-designed play by the offensive coordinator. Everything really seemed to be working just fine, except for the quarterback. He's got to throw a better football. And he's immediately tackled. Fires out to his wideout, and down he goes at about the 23-yard line. First down. They'll bring him down around the nine-yard line. So at the end of the half, and a 10-10 tie in this game. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, that is more important than turnovers. Now, so far, neither defense has been able to force one in this game, but you never know when that opportunity is going to come up. No, and people look at turnovers and they assume that it's luck a lot of times, but a lot of times it's preparation. It's being able to know that when certain teams line up Carolina back in 2002 in a certain formation where it's Tucson, Oakland, Stud, and they got three receivers to my side, and I know it's a rollout pass. As a defensive end, I widened my stance a little bit, came up field, hit the quarterback as he was throwing it. Next thing you know, the ref signals his hands up in the air and you get six points for it. So you can definitely be prepared and that's how you force those turnovers. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. Great first half. Hopefully the second half's as good. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. He's out to the 30. He's to the 40. 
the 50. And they bring him down at the 46-yard line. So it's first and 10 after the big run. About the 35. That makes it first and ten. And they make the stop right around the 24 yard line. From the 24 yard line. First down. Gets it on the pitch. Nice run, and he's brought down. Slings it, and he's pushed out of bounds, setting up a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. It's first down. They've got four cracks at him inside the five. It's first and goal. Tackle made at the three-yard line. Defense and their short yardage package. And he's level at the four. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic that pursuit. And this play is number eight on the drive. And he's taken down around the one yard line. That brings up fourth and goal. They're going to go for the easy three here. Wisconsin could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks up and it sails through the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. They'll bring him down at the 23. So the Badgers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And he's hit immediately. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Gain of 11 on the play. First down. Three down, three down. Let's go, let's go. And we got Mike, number 53. He gets to about the 41 yard line. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They don't want They don't want none of this. That'll bring up second and three. Right, 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 right. Three down, three down. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Big opening. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a gain of six on the play. That, that makes it first and ten. ten. Let's go, let's go. 
Complete. He's got room. He's taken down at the three. That's a game three to two on the play. That makes it first and goal. This is what an offensive lineman hopes for, an opportunity to impose his will on the defense. And the good news for this offense is they took the lead back. But the bad news is that the other offense is more than capable of putting points up on the board as well. And he tacks on the extra point. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. The Wildcats come into today's game ranked second in the land. Let's take a look at this one again. Here's a hotly contested battle. Denman's got a hose for an arm, and already he's tossed two scoring strikes. The Wildcats have the lead, 31-24. Upset special happens every year. Just Maybe it's one of those weekends. Turn. Duke is ready to kick it away. He'll return it from the one. Tackle at the 21-yard line. Both teams have really answered the bell here in the third quarter, Kirk. Well, exciting to see what these offenses have been able to do here. Be able to come out and score in your first drive tells you a lot about what they did during the half. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's out to the 30. He gets to about the 34-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 34-yard line. Gets to about the 37-yard line. Call it a gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Double tight, double tight. Pull down, pull down. Hey, Mike 52, Mike 52. Let's go. Hot, climb 80. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. That's good for a gain of three yards. That'll bring up 34. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. The Blue Devils lost one of their key guys earlier to that injury, and unfortunately, I don't think he's going to play any more football today. Gains his way to midfield. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. One quarter to go, and this looks like it could come down to the very end. Dukes up by four. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Four down, four down. New Mike 52, Mike 52. Set up. Oh, oh. He's tackled around the 43 yard line. That makes it 33. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. And this may be fourth down territory if they can't get a first down here. Gains his way to the 30-yard line. 
And this is the eighth play of the drive. Gets out to around the 22. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Inside the 10. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. Tenth play of the drive. And he makes it out to about the five-yard line. Second and goal. It's second and goal. Ball on the five yard line. And he's stopped behind the line. Sometimes a play is not going to work for whatever reason. Doesn't mean you throw the play away, you just need to execute better next time. This is the 12th play of this drive. Everyone knows why. And for Kansas State, they've won their 11th game of the season. The Wildcats get the two touchdown victory. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. Wisconsin is lining up to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Blue Devils have got to be fired up how this game is going. They still got a chance to win. Well, you're talking about a huge underdog. It's battled the entire game. They've got the football here to start this drive late with a chance to take the lead. You can't even imagine what this would do for this football team if they can put six points up on the board. Just under three to go in regulation. And he's tackled at the 41. First down. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. Has it to the senior. Tackle around the 44-yard line. First down. Gets to about the 41 yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 39 yard line. Around the 23 yard line. That makes it first and 10. From the 23 yard line, first down. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. This is the eighth play of this drive. 
Just under two minutes in the game. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. Third and long. This defense digs in here, and it could be their ball game. A little toss across the middle. Nice play to set up first and goal. Brown brings him down at the two-yard line. That makes it first and goal. They'll bring him down at the one.
The offense didn't get the playoff in time. He splits the uprights with the extra point. It was an 11-play, 75-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. Wisconsin staff right now has got to be thinking what the defense is looking at and what they're going to be keying on. Well, the defense is going to be looking at this running back. They're going to put everybody that they can to be able to stop him and not allow him to make a, a big play. That means the offense is going to have to be able to find somebody else maybe on this drive ready to step up and maybe become the hero to be able to win this game. Over the middle to his tailback. Brought down at the 27. He's scrambling, and he's sacked. Wisconsin's going to use their first time out of the half here. They're about four yards away here on third down. We have less than a minute to go. And a quick throw. Well, you can see the elation on the defensive coordinator's side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. This is their last chance. They need a big play here. And he's taken down at the 35-yard line. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 43-yard line. Second and three. Ball on the 43. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. to his runner and he's got him again he's tackled at about the 41 Thomas makes the tackle the 41 yard check, line. Check. Snake on. Snake on. now he's scrambling and they make the stop at about the 47 yard line at the 30. There's a strike complete. That tackle just sealed the deal. So this one goes final. A hard-fought close game. 24-20, Blue Devil. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.